Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this very short video, I have the solutions to the second video on statistics. That is the solutions on standard deviation. There were four questions. Let's look at the four. There we have the first question there. We have a school, 12 grade 12 learners. And first of all, we have to calculate the mean. If you calculate that, that then we have to calculate the standard deviation and then the number of learners whose percentage in mathematics. Right. Let's look at the first one. The mean is 63,83. The standard deviation is 25,21. And there we have the one standard deviation from the mean. So one below the mean and one above the mean. And if we count the number of... Um, data points between 38,26 and 89,04. These are the values that we obtain. And if we count them, we see there are 10 learners who fall within one standard deviation. Let's look at the second question. There we have the questions. There are four questions here. The first one, the mean distance traveled. That comes out to 157,62 kilometers. The standard deviation is 17,27 kilometers. And now we have a question. What happens to the actual mean? The mean there will be increased by P. So the mean is 157,62 plus P kilometers. The standard deviation. The standard deviation is not affected by a change in the mean. Therefore, the standard deviation remains 17,2. Let's just look at our third question. There we have our three questions. The mean of the data, we calculate that, is 20,52. The standard deviation is 5,94. Now, how many girls took longer, longer than one standard deviation? So we take the mean plus the standard deviation. That gives us 26,46. And if we now look at the ones that's longer, as you can see the ones ab above there, more than 26,46 is 27, 29, 30, and 36. And that tells us that there will be four girls that took longer than one standard deviation. Let's look at the fourth question here. <clears throat> here we have four questions. Let's look at the first one, the mean of the data. That's calculated as 45,67. The standard deviation is 13,88. And now here, calculate the standard deviation after the marks for the last question was added. Standard deviation is not affected, so that's 13,88. Total marks, so that is 65,67 minus 45,67, and that gives us 5%. I trust the solutions help you to understand the concepts of standard deviation. Please subscribe to my channel and also view other videos on grade 12 caps mathematics and uh, the solutions to all the worksheets for all the videos are available. It's already been uploaded.